Hi, this is Dr. Cenk Shen. I'm professor of plastic and reconstructive surgery. Today I'll try to briefly summarize what we do during the breast aesthetic surgeries. Mainly breast aesthetic surgery is focused on two different main surgical techniques. One is breast reduction, the other is breast augmentation, and the other is breast lift surgery. Sometimes in some patients, depending on the findings and expectations of this patient, we can do some combination of those three surgeries. Let's start with the breast augmentation. Uh, this technique is mainly used to augment the breast. We use mostly the silicone implants, silicone prosthesis, and in some patients, depending on again their expectations, we use some fat injection techniques, but it, it it must be known that fat injection may need two or three sessions to get a good result. Breast augmentation is done under general anesthesia. It is probably uh, one or two hour surgery, more or less. And during surgery, we open a small incision under the breast or the other parts of the breast tissue, uh, open a pocket and place the implant. The critical thing for this breast augmentation surgery is correct implant choice. Planning of the surgery and the plane of the implant. There are many different shapes and uh, types of implants, anatomic or teardrop shaped implants, round implants, uh, textured implants. They differ from volume, diameter, height, projection. And uh, again, we make some measurements before the operation and depending on those measurements, we choose the best implant that fits the patient's body and uh, during the operation we place the sizers and again we sit the patient and check which sizer gave the best result then place the permanent implant. This surgery is a little bit painful but probably within a few days of time the pain will decrease greatly. You will end up with two drains coming out from each breast, you'll use a specific medical bra. Uh, we remove those drains usually next day after surgery and one day after we remove the drains, you can have your shower. And uh, early after the surgery, within a few weeks, you may feel some swellings, but those swellings will decrease gradually and probably around three to four months after surgery, you will not even feel that there is an implant inside your breast. It's not a risky surgery, but it is every uh, operation, every surgery, it carries some small amount of risks, which are infection, hematoma, but we take all precautions to uh, prevent those risks. After the operation, uh, we keep you for a few days, uh, more or less five or six days after surgery. You can fly back to your country if everything goes fine. If no complication is seen, you can go back to your country. The incision, the scars are usually uh, looks red and hard in the early days. It softens, fades, and at the end of one year, it gets the final scar quality, which is usually in most of the patients, very good, very tiny scar. There's no deadline for the breast implant, as like 10 years later you have to remove the implant and place a new one. There's not such a thing. If you're happy with the result, if there's no risk, no complication, then you can use this implant for lifelong. You can breastfeed after breast augmentation surgery. 